everybody, it's your friendly YouTube commentator, Doom Caliber, and today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. Today is going to be a tutorial Tuesday. So this won't happen every Tuesday, it'll just happen the Tuesdays that I decide to do a video on Tuesday. Let's get started! Today's video is going to be on how to um, crop your video correctly when uh, uploading it to YouTube. So getting rid of those letter boxes, those pesky black bars on the side of your video. Uh, it has to deal with aspect ratio, and to learn more about aspect ratio, I suggest you go to a different video, because I'm not going to explain it. Alright, so, uh, I'll explain it when we're in it, but, um, you're going to have to go and download Virtual Dub from the description, as well as a codec called Xvid. And, once you've done both of those and installed Xvid, and zipped, unzipped Virtual Dub to a folder on your desktop, uh, then meet me back here. So, pause the video until then. Alright, so I'm guessing you're back, and um, the first thing you're going to want to do uh, before doing anything with this is if you're using Windows Movie Maker because you don't have a expensive um, video editing software, uh, once you've recorded the Xvid uh, codecs, you're going to want to go to all, uh, all programs uh, in the menu, go to the Xvid folder, click Configure Decoder, and then when this comes up, you're going to click, uh, you're going to check compatibility render. I'm sorry. I'm s t -t 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 Today, Junior! Alright, so, uh, you're going to open Virtual Dub and find your video. Find the video that you want to edit. So I've got this League of Legends clip, um, right here. Yes, and I want to get this uh, double kill that I got. I got two kills in like 20 seconds or something. Super cool. And I want to uh, upload it, but I have to first um, change it to a 16 by 9 aspect ratio. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find that spot in the footage here. I'm going to mark in. And I'm going to mark out. And I'm going to edit. I'm going to crop to selection. And that's going to just going to select the part where I got the two kills. And from here, we're going to go to Video, Filters, Add Filter, Type Resize, click OK. And you're going to uncheck, or you're going to click the Disabled Aspect Ratio. Type 854 by 480. Uh, I just prefer that. Um, you can compute height to 16 by 9 and choose one of the other 720p, uh, 1080p, or even uh, just 360p if you wish. Uh, but if you try to select 480, you get this decimal, and if you render it with a decimal, uh, for some reason there's some error compiling the footage. So uh, what I usually do is I just disable that and hit a 4 in there. I don't know why Virtual Dub decides to screw up with the 854, but we gotta deal with it. So click OK. Uh, click OK again. You'll see it changes your video. From here, uh, you're just going to make sure full processing mode is enabled for both video and audio. Um, and then I'm going to click fil uh, not filters, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, compression. And we're going to select the codec that we installed, Xvid MPEG-4 codec. And you're going to want to click configure. Uh, these are my settings. I have Xvid HD 720, uh, just because 1080 seems a little too much. Uh, single pass, and I didn't know what else to pick here, so, um, yeah. Xvid HD 720, single pass, uh, quality is maximum, one, and, uh, I'd have to set to general purpose, you can choose real time, I don't really know if there's a difference there. Don't bug me. Click OK, and then you're ready to save and export your footage, so click save as AVI, name it something like double kill on the desktop, click save, and this will come up here and it'll start rendering your video. So, that's it. You can make your video render faster by clicking highest, uh, but I don't recommend doing anything else on your computer while you do that because it will lag insanely. So, that's pretty much all I have to say. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video or if it helped you at all, please leave a like. It helps me grow, if you know what I'm saying. And, yeah, I will see you guys next time.
ahead. 